You may have noticed that when you try and save a layered Photoshop file in Photopia, if you are on a regular uh, computer, you can just save the file, but that doesn't work on a Chromebook. So there's something you need to do. You're actually going to um, go to account and it's going to say a bunch of gobbledygook about buying stuff. Just ignore it and log in. And what I want you to do is you're going to log in um, under Google and you're going to be using your school account. So let me show you how that works. So I go account, I go log in, and then I click log in with Google and I'm going to select out of all my Google accounts my school account. So I click account at the top, I click log in and I go to Google and then from Google, I'm going to select an account. Um, many of us have multiple Google accounts, so I'm going to click the one that's from school. So I click on my Google account, and I'm going to get a, a bunch of choices, and I'm going to pick the, the PAPS one, the Birthday and Boy Public Schools one. I click on that, and now I have logged in to Photopia. This is very important because otherwise I won't be able to save uh, layered Photoshop files. Now you're going to get a whole bunch of gobbledygook where they want you to actually pay for something or buy something. You do not have to do that and I don't want you to do that. So when you are done, you're going to X out that whole account thing and you are now in the program Photopia. Now I'm going to open up a, a Photoshop file that I already have and I'm going to show you exactly how to save a layered file. So let me just do file open. Of course I'm working on a laptop, not a Chromebook, but there is a file that I've created. I'm in the middle of working on. It's got layers and I need to save it. And if I'm on a Chromebook, it will not let me save a layered Photoshop file. So what I have to do is, instead of doing File Save as, I'm going to do File Publish Online. If pop-ups are blocked, then you're going to have to find the pop -up, block pop-up box at the top. There should be a red X in, uh, in or near the search bar. You click on it and there's going to be a pop-up window. Um, a link is going to appear in the address bar, and that is the link to where your Photoshop file is online. Let me show you what that looks like on my computer. Um, I go to File, I go to uh, Publish Online, and I pick PSD for Photoshop file. There's my pop-up, and I'm going to hit OK. When I hit OK, it's going to actually, it says it's publishing, and it's actually going to then reopen the file online in Photopia online using this unique link that's known only to me. So once I have that link and once it's loaded, I can go up to the address bar and I can actually copy the URL for that link. Oh, hold on, it's still loading. So that was a little confusing, so I'm going to try it again. It's Publish Online, PSD, there's my pop-up window. I hit OK. It goes ahead and it, I click OK, and it goes ahead and it creates the link, and it opens the link for me in Photopia, and now I'm going to copy that link, and you can just, paste that link into any browser the next day or whenever and hit enter and it will reopen your layered Photoshop file. Now every single day that you're working in Photopia and you're ready to stop, you're going to have to publish online again and create a new link from where you left off. So what you're actually going to do is when you open the link and you keep working 
at the end of your work session, you're going to, again, publish it on the web and now save that link somewhere. Um, you could save it as a Google Doc. You could so here I am, I pasted the link into a browser. My file immediately opens up to wherever I left off yesterday. I can continue working on it. And when I'm done, I'm again gonna publish it to the web and get a new link. Um, you could email the link to yourself. You could save it as a Google Doc, but just keep it somewhere because that's how you're gonna get back to your next work session the next day.